It's runtime, and today is Tuesday, September 23rd, so here's everything that happened in Indian tech over the last 24 hours. Well, not quite everything. I feel like the news cycle over the weekend was largely dominated by Donald Trump announcing a $100,000 fee that companies need to pay for each H-1B visa issued, which will probably end up resulting in a lot of offshoring of work that would have otherwise taken place in the United States by an expat. But I wanted to find other stuff that happened in Indian tech, other news stories that you might have missed because of this H-1B visa story dominating the news cycle. So the first thing here is Agnikul Cosmos has opened India's first facility to enable 3D printing of aerospace and rocket components up to one meter in height. And this is part of their new additive manufacturing facility for aerospace and rocket systems. And it's basically a self-contained ecosystem. They'll be doing design, simulation, printing, post-processing, and finishing of launch vehicles in this space. And they'll also have an indigenously designed and developed depowdering machine as well. And for those of you who don't know, depowdering is necessary because there's a lot of unfused metal powder in 3D printing which needs to be removed from a 3D printed rocket part's internal channels and surfaces to ensure that the part is clean, smooth, and ready for space. All right, next up, PTC Industries and their subsidiary Aeroloy Technologies have unveiled a state-of-the-art vacuum arc remelting 400 furnace, or VAR 400 for short. And this is in their Look Now facility, and this means that Aeroloy is now one of only two companies in the world with the ability to make some of the largest titanium and super alloy castings ever produced for jet engines. Now, what are these castings? Well, we're talking about stuff like fan hub frames, intermediate casings, and turbine rear frames. These are some of the biggest and most challenging to manufacture components inside of an aero engine. And making them requires ultra clean melting, vacuum casting, and machining to an extreme level of precision so that they don't fail under the enormous heat and pressure requirement of flight. And so this massively increases India's ability to produce critical engine parts domestically instead of relying on foreign suppliers. Now, just a little bit about PTC Industries. They've been a leading manufacturer of components and subsystems for aerospace, defense, and industrial applications for about 56 years. And they actually export over 75% of their products to customers like Rolls-Royce, Siemens, GE, Alstom, Metso, and Emerson. All right, next up, India has a new light tank. This was designed by DRDO's CVRDE in partnership with LNT, and it's gonna be manufactured at LNT's armored systems complex in Hazira in Gujarat. Now, this Indian light tank is built for multi-terrain warfare. It can operate in high altitude mountains or in deserts or rugged border areas where heavier tanks might struggle. And it can also be airlifted quickly with existing military transport aircraft. All right, that was all of the tech news from Monday as well as over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.